Hello, I'm Zhao Tang, Product Marketing Engineer from TS MotorDrive Business Unit. We know in separate motor applications, macro steps are achieved while regulating motor current. So today, I'm here to talk about the basic concepts of current regulation. Let's start with a uh, graph showing how the motor coil works. The coil is basically an inductor, so when MOSFETs turn on and develop a voltage across the coil, the coil current increases. When the current reaches the level matched to the desired macro step, MOSFETs switch off and remove the uh, coil voltage. Due to the uh, nature of an inductor, the current is redirected along alternative paths and decreases. Then MOSFETs turn on again and the same procedure repeats to keep up the peak current until the motor needs to move to the next macro step level which requires a new current level. The uh, two alternative current paths I just showed have different decay slow rates. Current flowing against the full supply leads to a faster rate and is called fast decay. Current redirected through two resistive fats is called slow decay due to its slower rate. Here is a comparison between the two decay modes. Both figures show the same peak current and decay time but the fast decay has a larger current ripple because of a higher slow rate, which could lead to a bigger noise, more heat, and worse EMI. On the other hand, if you spin your motor very fast and thus quickly transit from one micro step to another, fast decay can help you quickly settle down motor current. In general, slow decay is used when the motor current tends to increase to keep the minimum current ripple. Fast decay is used when current tends to quickly decrease, so you can settle the current before moving to the next micro step. A mix of fast and slow decay is called mixed decay, where in a decreasing current trend, the decay starts fast and ends slow. This approach offers a trade-off between ripple and settling time in motor current, yielding better motor performance. Many integrated stepper motor drivers on the market can do all these three decay modes, while TS Next Generation Stepper Motor Pre-Driver DRV8711 has a novel decay mode named Automix Decay, where the device automatically determines decay modes during operation. To get a general idea on this, current is sampled at the end of the minimum fat on time. If it's lower than the desired peak current, it continues to grow until hitting the targeted current level. And then slow decay takes place. If the current is sampled higher than the desired level, fast decay kicks in immediately, and after a certain amount of time, slow decay takes over. This approach selects optimum decay mode for every current level, allowing designers to tune any motor for the best result. I hope this video is helpful, and for more information, please visit the following URLs.